We are now back in the studio, having shown you the type of crime which occurs all too frequently in London, keeping a highly organised police force constantly employed. But now, by way of contrast, we're taking you over to a little village on the coast. In the sleepy little hamlet of Turnbottom Round, there are no criminals. For years now, not a single conviction has been recorded, not even a name in the charge book. This unique record has caused Turnbottom Round to be envied throughout the south of England as the village without crime. The police station occupies an old watchtower and is probably the least used building in the neighbourhood. Ladies and gentlemen, the police station turn bottom round. Well, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, in the police station of the village without crime. We have with us as an audience the squire and all the local celebrities. The absence of crime in this happy village is entirely due to the efficient and indefatigable efforts of the head of the local police force. Sergeant Dudfoot. <laughs> Sergeant Dudfoot. Oh, is it me? Oh. Good evening, everybody. Oh, a little further back and not quite so loud, please. Oh, actually, a little farther back, yes. Is it true you've had no crime in this village for no, ten years? No, no, that's my bit. Oh, is it? Oh. oh, I'm sorry, that's his bit. Yes. Is it true that you've had no crime in this village for ten years? Oh, actually, we're starting again. Uh, yes, that is true. And how long exactly is it since you last had a crime? Ten years, five weeks, four days. Very interesting. And how long have you been in charge of this police station? Ten years, five weeks, four days. I can hardly believe it. Well, that's what it says here. Very commendable, Sergeant. A record like yours deserves a reward. Hey, where is it? I have merely done my duty. I do not expect any reward. I say, I don't remember approving that line. <clears throat> uh, when you say there has been no crime, you mean no big crime? I mean none, either big or little. What about minor offences, such as uh, pilfering or poaching? There has been no poaching in this village for ten years, five weeks, four days. Amazing record, Sergeant. Yes, I haven't seen a poacher for the last... Since you've been here, definitely an achievement, Sergeant. I don't suppose there's another country area in England without at least one local poacher. And for an agricultural district like Turnbotham Round, never to have known a case of poaching in ten years, well, all I can say is, it says a great deal for the control you exercise over the villagers. Now, look what you've done. You made us miss the broadcast. He will not be narky. Yes, he'd be more narky if he missed his dinner tomorrow. Get up, you fool. Don't you know they're making a broadcast in there? Get on purpose. Get some light in here. Well, that's better. If we hurry, we'll just make it. He's still talking. I thought you said you'd remember the broadcast. No, I didn't. I said I'd remember to remind you about the broadcast. Well, why didn't you? Because I forgot. Because you forgot. You always forget. Come on. All right, wait for me. I've set an example to the police all over the world. Ah, Sergeant Dudford's staff have just returned from their lonely beats. Two splendid fellows. One is a fine, youthful figure of a policeman, and the other is oh, just... Oh, they don't want to hear about him. Sorry we're late, Sarge. Good evening, Constable Brown. So you too have helped to keep this village free from crime. No, 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 not so loud, and stand farther back. <laughs> this village must be very proud of you. Well, my girl Emily says Emily, I'm a... My girl Emily. There's a nice thing to say in a broadcast. Well, they can't make anything rude out of that, can they? <laughs> <laughs> now, how long have you been with the force? Twelve months next muck spreading. What do you mean, muck spreading? It says April. Well, that is muck spreading. Well, well, why don't they stick to the script? I mean, what do you think this is, a gardening talk? And you've never been called upon to arrest even a drunk. Oh, no. No drunks here. <laughs> <laughs> you must tell the choir boys that the street's not the proper place to practice. Yes, Sergeant. And how about you, Constable Lairworth? Uh, Harbottle. Please meet you. Harbottle, ah, yes. You control the traffic. And you've never even known a case of speeding. No fear. I'd as soon have the bracelets on them if I had. Oh, that must be the doctor on an urgent case. Urgent? Yeah, her probably going to Mrs. Ockin. She always needs it to the last minute. Oh. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, I must apologise for this old fool. If ever he opens his mouth, he always sticks his foot in it. He comes butting in, he's got no right here at all. And what's more... You're wasting I... your time, sir. You've been faded up. Well, what about these other three pages? It's all your fault. You... Oh, I'm sorry this happened, Sergeant. You were doing splendidly. Oh, well, you know how it is. The BBC always fade out the best items. Good night, Sergeant. Good night. The least I can do is to thank you for your trouble. Being a police officer, of course, you can't accept a fee. Oh, does that come under this? Oh, what a pity. But uh, if there's any local charity for which you'd like a contribution... Well, we have the uh, police outing fund, sir. I think it's going to be rather difficult to get that in. Oh, though. no, no, no. It's, there we are. Uh, thank good you. night, Sergeant. Uh, good night. Uh, come and say good night to the gentleman. Come on, come on. Uh, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, Well, 
not open yet. Got plenty for you this morning, Sarge. Have you? Yeah. Well, then wait for their money. Shut them in next door. Hello, Ernie. How's it? Very nice, thanks. The sergeant says I have to bring his post here. What, all that lot? Oh, what's he been up to? Ah. Coming out tonight, Emily. Oh, I can't, honey. I've got a date. Yeah, not with Harry Pringle, the fish boy. Why, what have you got on Harry? Oh, nothing. And I thought a girl like you would aim a bit higher than a common eel skinner. Well, at least he does take me to the pictures. Pictures? Then what's the matter with you? You go there and pass out at Robert Taylor and Clark Gable. Takes you a couple of weeks to get used to me again. Oh, you're just jealous because Harry's got a motorbike and you haven't. Huh, motorbike? I wouldn't take one of my girls out on a motorbike, bumping up and down on the pillion, getting disfigured for life. Don't you believe it, big boy? The back of a motorbike's okay by little Emily. Oh, I suppose you wouldn't come out in my car. Your car? Well, you haven't got a car. It belongs to the police. Anyway, you're afraid to take me out in it. Says who? Says me. Well, you'll be at the crossways at half past five tonight and we'll see. Well, I might. Now you bought me the sweets. So long, honey bunch. All right. Here, 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 here. Don't them people all over the broken biscuits. Who are they for? The governor? Oh, I say. Good gracious, all those for me. Perhaps they're Christmas cards. What, in November? It's your fun mail after your broadcast. Oh, is it? How do you know? Well, I opened one or two. Yeah. You opened one or two? Do you know that's an offence? Yes. And so was your broadcast. Yeah. Here, lummy. It's all that lot. Oh, my pen letters. Oh, any for me? Here, look, it's one with OHMS on it. Ah, that'll be from the BBC. Want to fix up another broadcast. <coughs> yes. Dear yes, sir, we your broadcast. Your failure to effect a single arrest for the past ten years, five weeks, four days, would strongly suggest that the police station in your area is unnecessary. Hmm. An investigation will shortly be made to decide whether to transfer you to another district or to retire you and your staff from the force altogether. Yours faithfully, John Conch, your Chief Constable. Mm. Oh, dear. Transferred or retired. That's a bit thick. Oh, I don't want to retire. At least not till I'm an old man. I mean, you're ten years older than the pyramids now, so shut up. Nah, it's all your fault. You and your blooming broadcast. Well, there's gratitude for you. After me making him into a policeman. Well, you had to when his nephew resigned. Uh, resigned? I like that. You mean did a bunk with a sports fund? Yes, and you kept his name on the payroll. That's right. And if I hadn't come in, he wouldn't have had any odd bottle of the show. Yeah, and you wouldn't be able to stick to half his wages. That's commission. I mean, you should talk. What about all that petrol you've been using, taking your girl out? Well, what about it? It's not yours. It's police petrol. That's got nothing at all to do with it. It's the principle of the thing I'm talking oh, about. There's no use fighting amongst ourselves. What are we going to do about this letter? Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do about it. If the chief wants arrest, he's going to have arrests. We've got to find some crime, that's all. Let me see. Uh... Here. I know where there's some crime. Where? In the news of the world. <laughs> I mean, we can't wait till Sunday. Hey, what about Mrs. Clifford? Has she paid her dog licence? Well, she has, in a way. What do you mean, she has, in a way? Well, uh, she tossed me double or quits and uh, I lost. Oh. Well, we can get her for gambling. Oh, we can't do that. She's one of my best customers. Box the dog biscuits in the Bob Martins every Friday. Well, we're going to arrest someone, whether we offend them or not. What about poaching? No. 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 <laughs> You know Jolly Willie hasn't got a car, he's only got a bike. Hey! Hey, come back here! You can't go carrying through here! What do you think you're restricted area? You... Hey, there's an idea. Restricted area. We'll set a speed sack. Speed. I mean, we'll give him a rest. Yes. We'll stop everything. Hey, where's my stopwatch, Albert? Oh, I gave it hard bottle. Yeah, yes, I had it, but uh, I boiled it. You what? I, I boiled it. You see, I had the egg in one hand and the wash in the other, and I put the wrong one in. You would. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you better bring the egg. Uh, what shall I do with that? Well, suck it and see. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Get in the hedge. All right. Well, I don't see how you're going to work it. Well, it's perfectly simple. Our bottle's at the top of the row with the first post, and when a car passes him, he's going to start his watch and drop his handkerchief. Yes, but what do I do? Well, when you see his handkerchief, you start your watch. You know who's going to stop the motorist? I am. I'm going to stop every car that passes. Oh, you didn't stop that one. He came before I was ready. Here, set your watch by mine. Hey, it sounds like another car. Well, get in the hedge over there. Beep, 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 beep. 
You were exceeding the speed limit. Don't talk rot. Uh, oh, yes, you were. All right. How much do you reckon I was doing then? Uh, oh, uh, well, all in good time. Albert! Albert! What was this man doing? Uh, 25 minutes. Yeah, minutes. Those are seconds. Oh, yes. I was looking at the wrong end. What do you measure? 25 seconds. So do I. <clears throat> you did the measured furlong in 25 seconds. What of it? That's only 20 miles an hour. Yeah. 20 miles an hour. Oh, yes, but uh, 20 miles each, you see, there's three of us. That makes it 60. 60? What on earth are you dribbling about? 25 seconds, one furlong, work it out for yourself and see. Oh, that's easy. Oh, <laughs> well, I got a pencil. Oh, I suppose you think we can't do it, don't you? <laughs> there you are. Uh, let me see now, what is it? Uh, 220 yards mm. multiplied by 8. Yeah, yeah not on my bonnet. Uh, all right, all right, we're only doing it to oblige you. Yes, we're courtesy cops. Yes, mm. 220 yards multiplied by 8, that's... Uh, 1,760, and divide that by 25 seconds. Hey, the thing to do is to reduce it to hours. Yeah, I mean, how can you reduce 25 seconds to hours? Listen, how long do you expect me to wait here? You wait till we've finished. You ask for it, and you're going to get it. Yeah, I've done it. Have you? Yeah. Good. 25 minus 220 divided by 60. Well, according to this, he hasn't got it here yet. Here, here it is. 1,760 divided by 25 gives us 70.4. Yeah, 70.4? Yeah. Well, it's gone up. Well, that's nearly 80 miles an hour. Oh, oh. right. Yes. Ask him for his license. I want to see your license. I haven't got a license. Huh? I said I haven't got a license. He hasn't got a license. Ask him for his insurance. Well, let me see your insurance certificate. I'm, I'm not insured. What, do you mean you haven't got a license or an insurance? No. He hasn't got a license or an insurance. Oh. Well, it's a very lucky thing for you, young man. You've just saved your bacon. Do you, do you mean I can go? Well, I can't endorse your license if you haven't got one, can I? Go on, hop it. But next time, be sure you bring one with you. Yeah. Well, if you ask me, it's a waste of time. Oh, well, who's wasting the time? Only ten minutes to work out a simple little sum like that. Well, it isn't our fault. It's a post. Well, what's the matter with them? Too clean? No, they're 220 yards apart. Well, what's that got to do with it? Look, there's 60 seconds in a minute. 60 into 220 won't go. That's right. Well, if we made it 240, it's four. Yeah. Four. Four times a minute. Oh. That seems very often, doesn't it? Hmm? Oh, no, you don't understand. Look, if we move that post a bit this way, it's easy to divide. Yeah. Well, why didn't you say so? <laughs> oh. God, now, put some beef in it. I had put beef in it. Boop, oh. boop, 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 boop. Oh. There you are. There it is. Now, then, we'll step it out. Twenty yards. And you bring the post with you. Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hey, well, sounds like another car coming. All right, well, no arguments this time. We're all agreed he's doing sixty. Right. Now, run up the road and get in and drop your handkerchief. Hey, I haven't got a handkerchief. Well, drop your sleeve or whatever you use. Where, where, where can I put this? Well, put it anywhere. Stick it, stick it there. Well, stick it. Well, stick it. Uh, never mind, hold it. Get your watch there. What the devil's the meaning of this? Well, uh, first of all, have you got a license? Of course I've got a license. You have? Then you're for it, my lad. You were doing 60 miles an hour. I was doing what? Uh, 60. Absolute nonsense. Ah, what was this man doing? 60. 60. Uh, you have the evidence to tell me that I was doing... What's that? Uh, oh, a policeman. Yes. Well, I must be going mad or something. What's he doing with that thing? That? Ha-ha, <laughs> that's evidence. Evidence. Uh, quiet, quiet. Now, you... Say truly, uh, uh, truly, truly rural. Yes, that's right. Say that. Truly rubbish. As I thought. Drunk as well. All right, boys, and that's it. What? I warn you, anything you say will only make it worse for you. The handcuffs are right. Leave him to me. Hey! Hey! Stop throttling my cuffs, will you? Oh, I see. Oh, well. Resisting arrest, eh? All right, boys. Leave him in. Now, go on. Get in and drive him to the station. I'll tell you something. What? He wasn't going very fast at all. Well, fast or slow, it doesn't matter. The law's the law. I know. Go on. Ah, we've got a case at last. You search him? Yep. One pocketbook, one penknife and no money. Yeah. 
One pen knife and no what? And no money. Come on, turn out your pockets. Oh, all right. One pen knife and 15, Bob. I mean, will you never learn to be honest? He's as much our prisoner as yours. They are five Bob each. Now, let's see what his name is. <coughs> you got anything inside? <coughs> Pinch the chief constable, that's all. Oh, that's a niche, ain't it? Yeah, we've got to get him out of that cell before he comes to. Now, when he wakes up, we don't anything about this. We'll pretend we're surprised he's here. We'll ask him how he's got here. I hope he hit something with his car. Tell him there's been an accident. Yes, and when he finds out there hasn't been an accident, there will be one. Don't be silly. After a clout on a head like that, he won't know what's happened. Yeah. Hey, where are you going? I'm going to have to fix the accident, I. Right? Over there. Hey, come out, let me do it. Oh. Let me you're switching on the lights. There's a self-starter. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Look at my samples. Yeah. Why didn't you tell me you left it in gear? Well, you didn't give me time to tell you anything. Oh, well, anyway, they can't say there hasn't been an accident. Oh, you're feeling better now, sir. <coughs> you scoundrels. I'll have a lot of you in jail for this. He's delirious. Delirious? Why, I... <laughs> take, take it easy, sir. You've had an accident. What are you talking about? You assaulted me. That's right. That's right. No, you, you, you've had an accident, sir. Oh, an accident, sir. Uh, yes. yes. You were driving your car and you suddenly left the road, went smack through the shop next door. You impudent scoundrel. Well, if you don't believe us, come out and have a look. Yes, yes, yes. Come and have a look, sir. Come and have a look. You assaulted me on the high road. Oh, we did Oh, nothing of the kind. Why, well, we haven't been out of the house all day, sir, really. You yeah. held me up and accused me of speeding, and you know it. Hallucination. Yes, that's what it is, sir. Hallucination. Mm. Very common after an accident. What? Especially a nasty one like this. Look. What have you done to my car? Keep calm, sir. Keep calm. It'll all come back to you. Come back. It hasn't gone away from me yet. You stopped me on the high road for speeding, and what's more, you accused me of being drunk. Yeah, oh, pure hallucination, sir. Yes, hallucination. Yes, hallucination. That's right. Are you trying to tell me that I drove down this road and for no reason at all crashed my car into this shop? Exactly, sir. Yes. I refuse to believe such outrageous nonsense. Oh, excuse me, but it's perfectly true. What? I was in the saddler's shop down the road and saw the whole thing. You did? Who's this? Yeah. Oh, this is the squire. Do you mean to tell me you substantiate this man's story? Definitely. Well, you come with me. Uh, yes. Thank you very much. If there's anything in this outrageous story, how on earth do you explain this bump? Well, uh, might I suggest, sir, that you hit your head on the windscreen? Good heavens, man, I can't hit the windscreen with the back of my head. Oh, no. oh maybe you was in reverse. Oh. Albert Brown, you can't do this to me. I've been waiting at the crossways over half an hour. Shut up, this is the chief constable. Oh, I didn't know you had a friend. Well, if you told me, I'd have brought Aggie. Who is this woman? This is Emily, sir. What's she doing here? She's my bird, sir. You what? I uh, mean, sir, she's his bit. Uh, she's the parlour maid at the manor. Come on, Emily, run along. We're very busy. Yes, sir, what about... All right, just a minute, ma'am. What is all this about? Uh, oh, Constable Brown wants to know if he can go to the pictures. Certainly, Constable Brown can go to the pictures. Oh, thanks, Chief. You wouldn't like to go too, would you? No, I went last Wednesday. And what about you? No, I prefer the book by the fire. Oh, you do? Good night, all. Good night. Good night. Goodbye, what's your name? Abyssinia. Good night. <laughs> Bright little girl, isn't she? <laughs> well, Chief, what about a little drink? Eh? Oh, of course, I'm sorry, they're not open yet. I'll take the jug round the side door. Mrs. Davis will let me have it. What? Yes, she always does. Yeah, that's a good idea. Would you prefer old and mild, or would you like bitter? I think you'd better take the large jug. Yes. Stay where you are. When I heard your broadcast, I expected to find a den of incompetence. But I never thought it would be as bad as this. Letting a constable go to the pictures with a girl, getting drinks out of hours. Is that the way to run a police station? You call this a police force? How old are you? Forty-two. You look more like eighty-two to me. Oh, that's the life he's led. No, it isn't. It's through seeing it what done it. Seeing what? The ghost. 
What ghost? The ghost of the headless horseman, oh. driving hers. <gasps> Horrible it was. I lost me hair, and my teeth fell out all in the night. Ah, uh, don't take any notice of him. He has hallucinations too. But it's true. Ah, oh, true. Yes, and I'll tell you what's more, I know other people. Remember, I wanted confirmation that this place is run by a pack of idiots. I've got it. The most inefficient and disorganized rabble that ever had the audacity to call itself a police force. Apparently, you consider the blundering incompetence, scaring illegality, and outrageous discourtesy to be the normal manifestations of a policeman's duty. You'll hear more of this. Uh, thank you for calling. Don't worry, we'll look after everything. Yes. <coughs> well, go on, move along, move along. There's nothing to see. Oh, right, right. oh, now you've offended him. What do you want to tell him a silly, idiotic, daft story like that for? Headless horseman. Well, there is an headless horseman. Yeah. You ask him down in the village. Have you seen it? No. Well, what do you want to tell him that yarn about your teeth dropping out for? Well, I had to tell him something, otherwise he'd have gone looking up my birth certificate. What, the doomsday book? Well, we'd better start packing. Packing? Well, we might as well be ready for the boot when it does come. What, are we leaving the dear old home? Yes, we're going to be kicked out into the dear old gutter. Mm. That looks so good, does it? Oh, you can't go out like that. No. You know, if only we could do something sensational, get the Daily Express behind us, they wouldn't dare sack us. Well, I tell you what. What? Couldn't you arrest someone for speeding? Listen, I'm liable to be arrested for murder. What do you think we've been doing? Look where it's got us. What we've got to do is to arrest some famous criminal. What criminals are there? Yeah. Uh, Guy Fox. Oh, lovely Guy Fox. He's dead. He wasn't a criminal. He invented fireworks. Well, there must have been some crime here sometime or another. Haven't we got any records? We've got the old charge books down the cellar. Well, let's go and have a look at those. Right. Bring your bullseye with you. Can you see? Hey, you're a bit of a muddle down here, aren't you? Yeah, I'm going to tidy it up tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yes. What's the good of putting off till tomorrow? What we shan't be here to see. Well, where are your books? Here they are. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Here they are. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's try this one, shall we? Yes. Oh. Okay. Oh. 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 <laughs> uh. <laughs> 1753. Well, I mean, that's going back a bit, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. Ah, here, here's a crime. Highway robbery. Yes. No, that's no good. That's legal now. Is it? Yes. Huh? Daniel Gould was convicted of sheep stealing. Yeah, what did he get? Was sentenced to be hurdled, hanged, drawn and quartered. Blimey. Oh, uh, yes, here George Conarchy did slay, kill and willfully murder his wife by throwing her off a cliff. Ooh, what did they do to him? <laughs> he was fined four and sixpence. That don't seem right, do it? Uh, well, oh, I'm sorry, my mistake. Fourteen and sixpence. Uh, yes, wait a minute. Larceny, piracy, Treason, resisting the press gang, whistling in church. I mean, these are no good to us. Haven't you got some other books somewhere else? You know, something on uh, on up-to-date crime? Well, I've got some Sexton Blakes in the shop library. You have? Yeah. Well, why don't you say so? Instead of wasting our time down here. Come on, let's go and have a look at them. Well, they might give us an idea, if nothing else. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, you've got to catch them. Yeah. Oh, good evening. Good evening, Sergeant. Anything wrong? Well, yes, sir. In a way. You see, it's like this. My brother Alfred, he's a lighthouse keeper. And this morning he had to go off on his month's duty in the lighthouse, see? Yes, yes, I see. And he didn't want to go. And why didn't he want to go? Go on, I'll buy it. Why didn't he want to go? Because of our poor old grandmother. She's been ailing for years now, poor soul. And now she's hoping at death's door. But as I says to Alf, duty is duty, and the lighthouse must be lit. Oh, yes, of course. Then suddenly I gets an idea. How about a signal, I says to Alf? Yes. What did Alf say? Alf says if you could do that, I'd be easy in my mind. All right, I says. Uh, you says. I says, I'll hang up a light where you can see it from the lighthouse. And while that there light's still burning, you'll know our gun is still with us. Yes, that's a good idea. So I thought maybe you wouldn't mind if I put it up on top of the tower here so Alf can see it, this being the highest point hereabouts. Oh, by all means. Why, if anything happened to the old lady, I, uh, I'd never forgive myself. Uh, up the stairs till you come to the top. Thank you, Sergeant.
<laughs> What's the matter with you? I'm thinking about his poor old grandmother. Out there alone in the lighthouse. <laughs> listen, why don't you listen, you old fool? His grandmother's not in the lighthouse. She's hovering round round death's door. And he's putting that light up there so his brother will know that his grandma's light's not been put out. <laughs> I don't know how I can thank you for this, Sergeant. Oh, well, that's all right. I mean, anything in the cause of charity. Charity? Yes, yeah, here's the box. Uh, oh, uh, there's, uh, there's no need for you to give anything. Half a crown. Uh, uh, yes, but we'd have done it for nothing, you know. Uh, that's all right. Good night, Sergeant. Good night. I was thinking about his poor old granny. And you owe me one and sevens. Yeah, do I? Well, yeah. I imagine you've got it. Listen, we're going to look at your sex and blood. Come on. Uh, come on, where's the crime section? Here you are. Here it is. Right. Don't this Desmond or the mystery of the bloodstained sheet. Oh, that's hot one, that is. You yeah. want to read page 34 where he's alone with her in the office? Yeah. In the what? In the office. Office? Yeah. You mean office? No, I don't. I mean office. Yeah. In the oasis. Oh. That means he had a date with her. Dauntless Desmond. Should be Dirty Dick. While you've been playing funny footy at the pictures, we've reached a crisis. Ah, oh, you'd reached that before I went out. Hey, you realise, my boy, if we don't find some crime before tomorrow, we're out. Well, you've got a whole shelf full of crime there. There you are, look, Bill the Body Snatcher, Sam the Smuggler, cop. Smuggling. Now, there's your crime. Smuggling? Yeah, all we've got to do is to catch some smugglers. Oh, grand. Where do we find the smugglers? Oh, we don't find them. We stage a smuggle. We put a keg of brandy on the beach, then we find it with witnesses. Well, what good does that do us? Well, then they'll have to keep us here until we find the smugglers. Alison, how can we find smugglers uh, if there aren't any? Well, we haven't got any brandy either. Well, yeah, yeah, I've got some brandy. Oh? Huh? What are you doing with brandy? Well, I keep it in case I get toothache. Toothache? The only thing you're likely to get is gummy. Well, come on. Don't waste time. Go and get the brandy. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Who's in charge here? You were, but you got the bullet. i got nothing of the kind. The bullet may be on the way, but until it actually lands, you'll take your orders from me. And I'm having nothing at all to do with it. It's not safe. Well, please yourself. Come on, Jerry. We want to keep our jobs. Hey, hey, do you mean to tell me you're going to defy me and go through with it? Certainly. Oh, well, what about me? Well, you can help if you like. Oh, thank you very much. And uh, what do I do? All we do is we put the keg of brandy on the beach, then go for a witness. Uh, who puts the keg of brandy on the beach? You and Harbottle. I, I suppose you go and get the witness. Yes, yeah, all right, isn't it? No, it isn't all right. You'll put the brandy on the beach and I'll go and get the witness. What's your name and address? Seth Monroe, Six Fishermen's Cottages. All right, well, you'll be hearing from us officially. Thank you very much. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. I know, I know, there's a storm coming up. <coughs> hello, hello. Oh, give me the door, Mr. Double Six Double Six. I'm on the Chief Constable. This is very urgent. Uh, hello, man. Oh, come on. Look, I know I'm in a hurry, but this is very important. I don't get the Chief Constable is in bed. You get him out of bed. I want to talk to him at once. Hey, hey, what are you two trying to do? Spoil everything? One's enough. One what? One kick of bandy. What are you talking about? Yeah. Uh, Chief Constable? Yeah. All right, I'll hang on. Uh, what are you ringing the Chief Constable up for? Tell him about the kick of bandy on the beach. We haven't taken it down yet. That's what I'm talking What? We haven't taken it down yet. Yeah, when we filled it, we couldn't lift it, so we've been emptying it. That's right. What are you blibbing idiots babbling about? I just brought the keg of bandits to the beach as we arranged. But you couldn't have done. Well, there it is. Fly me another one. That's it, Itch. What, do you mean to tell me that the... Hello? Hello? It's the Chief Constable. Now what I'm going to tell him. Well, you rang him up here, think, or something. Yeah. Um, um, oh, um, is that, uh, is that Turnbottom East uh, ARP department? Uh, what? Oh, it didn't. Oh, uh, wrong number. Oh, I said that. Oh. Uh, it's run. Good stuff, too. Yeah, well, you leave that alone. It doesn't belong to you. Well, who does it belong to? Oh, that's what we're going to try and find out. Yeah, you sure you didn't put that one on the beach? Yeah. We've only got one keg, and there it is. Well, where'd the other one come from, then? Perhaps it's been washed up by the sea. Oh, what does it matter what it was washed up by? It'll do just as well. Just affect our story. If it don't belong to anybody, let's drink it. Hmm. And what will that get us? A good booze up. Yeah, a good booze up. We all our plans mucked up. We cast our bread upon the waters, and back comes a keg of rum that we don't want. Get three glasses. Oh, it's gone! Oh, what was that? Perhaps it was the wind. Oh, 
Well, that wasn't a win anyway. No, that's someone at the door. Well, go on, let her in. You do it. You're in charge. No, I want to open that door. Not me. Uh, let's close in shop act. Hey, you can't beat shop act in an emergency like this. Stop. Perhaps she's gone home. Don't be ridiculous. She wouldn't get up a row like that and then go home. Maybe she's come to the wrong house. Well, open the door and have a look. Hey, oh, why oh, me? Here, Narkic, it's my bird. Uh, Jerry, pass me some water. Oh, she's only fainted. Oh. She's coming round. Oh. oh, Albert, Albert, I've seen it! I've seen it! Oh. Hey, 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 what have you been showing this poor girl? I don't know what she's talking about. She was all right when she left me. Oh. Here she comes again. Oh, oh it was horrible. It's all right, it's all right, come on. Horrible. Get the chair, get the chair. That's all right now. Huh? In good hands now, come on. That's right, sit down. Oh. There, that's right. Now, uh, uh, would you care to make a statement? Uh, just exactly what happened? Well, I... I've been to the pictures with Albert in the police car. Yes, I see. Been to pictures with Constable Brown in bus. Then I went home. And all of a sudden I remembered a letter I had to post. So I got up my bicycle to go to the pillar box. And just as I got to the five crossways... Were you assaulted? No. What a pity. <coughs> we could have taken steps. Well, I just got to the five crossways. When all of a sudden... Galloping towards me, there was a nurse with no head. A what? The driver had no head. It was a nurse with an headless horseman. Yeah, yeah. Come here. She been going out with you too? No, no. Well, how did she got the same story that you got? I don't know. It's true, I tell you. I saw it. Poor kid. Feeling better? Yes, I'm okay now. I'd better get the police car out and take her home. Well, well leave us here by ourselves. Not likely. We'll all take her home. But frightened? Certainly not. I'm sick of the young lady's reputation. Uh, come on, my dear. Sergeant, thanks for the buggy ride. Good night. Good night. Good night, Toots. Good night, honey. Good night. Good night. Good night. Come on, Toots. Turn around and step on it. Wait a minute, so Walter Raleigh's not in. Good night, honey. Good night. Oh. Oh. It must be about one o'clock. I haven't been out so late since my father got married. Eh? Yes, his false wife. Oh, I see. Here, I hope we don't meet that phantom nurse. Ah, oh, that's a lot of poppycock. Who ever heard of a headless driver? Wouldn't be able to pass his tests. Still, Emily must mean something that scared her. Ah, oh, maybe she saw her bottle through the window. You can't believe all the hysterical girls say. What's the matter? What did you pull up for? <laughs> the phantom nurse. Phantom nurse. It's a horse and cart with his tail on fire. It's a phantom earth, I tell you. Those are phantom flames. Look at the driver's head. Well, what's the matter with this thing? You ain't got one. Don't talk to us and try. Whether or not they've got it tucked in. Well, what are you worrying about? It's not coming this way. That's just what it is doing. No. Oh. Hey, hey, put your light out. Uh, give me on the glass first. Let it go by. But I meant to let his glass first. Well, oh, he's going to get right first. No, I'm not having any hearse going to be gloomy. Put it in the back. Made it. It's your fault. You should have kept your eyes on the road instead of talking so much. Yes, well, anyway, we needn't go any further. We give the flaming house to slip. Listen, What's the matter? Oops. Oops. Blimey, it's followed us in here. See where it went? No! Where did it go? It went... Well, it went to the garage. If it kept your eyes open, you see where it went. There's no more the ghosts than he is. Can we say just gone through the doors? No, no, the doors open and let it in. 
Well, who opened them? Well, how do I know? That's their ghost doors. <laughs> ghost doors. I'll show you where their ghosts are not. Come on, Ossage, come on. Come on, open up in the name of the Lord. Come on, you're all the worse for you if you don't. Well, what are you standing there for? Well, don't they be afraid of? Look, I'll tell you what we'll do. You part the one door, and I'll part the door. Oh, 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 Where's he gone to? He's gone right through and out the other side. Gone through the other side. Don't be ridiculous. Why, this is a solid wall. Hey, do you know where we are? No. This is the squire's garage. Is it? Yeah, let's knock him up and tell him. Tell him what? We're in his garage. Yeah, well, it's a bright idea, isn't it? Well, let's examine these walls properly. trying to get you for half an hour. Where have you been? Well, uh, as a matter of fact, we've been out on a job. <coughs> he says, what sort of a job? Tell him about the headless horseman. You think I should? Of course, we've all seen it. Uh, uh, you remember that story that Constable Harbottle told you about the ghost that made his teeth stop out? Yes. 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 It's all your fault, that is. Uh, uh, yes, I'm listening, Chief. I'm listening. Then stop giving me all this preposterous bilge about ghosts. Do you realise there's smuggling going on in your district? Smuggling? Oh, yes, we know all about that. Our witness must have been talking. Oh, we've got all the evidence. A whole keg full. Keg full? We've just been informed that whole boatloads have been smuggled in. Boatloads? Well, there must be real smugglers then. I, I mean others. Now listen. One of His Majesty's revenue cutters in mid-channel has observed a light in the neighbourhood of Turnbottom Round. Yes. They believe this light's being used as a steering light for smugglers. Oh. Oh dear. Albert, take this down. <coughs> from the east side of Drake Seat to a point due north, from Shoe Hill off Turn Bottom Round, by northeast, west, by north. Aye, aye, sir. Have you got all that? Any spell aye, aye. Yeah, listen, Albert, you get the ordnance map. This is our big chance. If only we can spot that light and make an arrest, then he can't sack us. You get the compass. Here, here. Well, there's no telling where this will lead to. Might get us a promotion. Here, here's a compass. Right. It's ten minutes fast. Well, that's all right. Doesn't matter. We can... What do you mean it's ten minutes fast? How can we find where we are with a thing like that? It's easy. You point the north to the northwest, then the northeast gives you south. Yeah, that's all right, but suppose we want to go north. Give me those bearings, I'll find it. Oh, all right, go on then. Oh, look, there's the channel. Well, there's the north rock, isn't it, there? Yeah, and there's the knock. Now, if we bring a line from there, that's... Here's the knock. Yes. Oh, really? Can I take my lamp down now, Sergeant? Uh, down? Why, uh, is Joe's grandmother... Yeah. Oh. She's much better now. Yeah. Well, I'm glad about that anyway. Well, you can find your own way up, can't you? We're very busy just now. All right, I'll get them, Sergeant. Who's that? Coast Guard. Oh, I've never seen him round here before. What's he want? Well, when you were out courting, he came round here and told us that... Uh, the, the spell is... Oh, yeah, you mind your own business. Go on, get on with your bearings. You found that light yet? Well, give us a chance. I've only just found Drake's seat. Hmm. Oh, here we are. Uh, north by Point East. That brings us here. Uh, north East by Shoe Rock, that brings us here. Yes, well, what does it say where the lines intersect? Hmm. It says the police station. Police station? 
Well, that's ridiculous, isn't it? I mean, there's no lamp hanging. Oh. Yeah. Didn't that bloke say something about fetching down a lamp? That's right. Yes, that's right. Ah, oh, but still, that's something at all to do with it. That's for the fellow on the lighthouse. His grandmother's ill, you see. And as long as he can see that light, then he knows his grandmother hasn't started to burn. I mean, his grandmother hasn't put a light... Well, it's a signal for his grandmother anyway. Well, it sounds fishy to me, though. I'll tell you, now, Don't you start. Yeah, whose grandmother is she? It's his brother Joe's grandmother. Well, who's Joe? Joe's the fellow on the lighthouse. Yeah, I want to tell you something. You I... won't tell us anything. Listen, it's easy enough to check up. All we've got to do is to find out whether his brother Joe really keeps the lighthouse. Well, I don't want to tell you what I was going to tell you, Nancy. Oh, all right, Peavish. Come on, what is it? Well, I've lived here 60 years and I've never seen a lighthouse. No, neither have I. You haven't? Well, why didn't you tell me that when we let him put the light up instead of crying your eyes out? I'm sorry for his poor old granny. Sorry for his granny. If he hasn't got a lighthouse, how can he have a granny? Well, I've got a granny, but I've never had a lighthouse. Oh. What shall we do? It's all right. Leave it to me. I'll deal with him. Good night, all. Good night. Here, I thought you were going to deal with him. Well, what do you expect me to do? Arrest him? Of course. Well, let everybody know that the light was on top of our police station. Well, that's a bright idea. Well, what are we going to do? Well, now we know how it's worked, we can plant the light on someone else. Look, look Bring that line down here, you see, so that it puts the light on top of the pub. Whoa! Oh! Hmm. It's a pebble. I wonder what they want to wrap it up for. Uh, uh, give me that. There may be a message on it. Well, I like that. Fred Jackson Draper, turn bottom round. Let me Jackson advertising again. Well, that window's going to cost him one and sixpence anyway. Hey, wait a minute. There's something on the other side. Huh? Keep your nose out of things that don't concern you. Dead men tell no tales. You have been warned. What's that? Keep your nose out of things that don't concern you. Dead men tell... Oh, well, what does that mean? It couldn't be much plainer, could it? Yeah. Well, it's not just they can't threaten us with it. We're the police. Besides, what could they do? Supposing that pebble had been a bomb, eh? They don't talk nonsense. This is England. They don't throw bombs here. Shh. What is it? Can you hear a ticking sound? No. I can. It's the clock. What's the matter with you two? Well, it can't be the clock. It's got no works. Well, what is it? B -b -b bombs. I can only hear it faintly now. It sounds really near to me. Oh, I think it's in here. I can hear it now. It's somewhere about here. It's on you. I can't hear it. What are you hiding for? You don't care they're doing nothing. Leave the fire bucket. What for? No, I want for to do as you told. I want to do with Bob, so that is the ARP. Come on, keep going. Oh, oh. oh. There you are. That was a gallant deed, and you saw me do it. Hey, watch it. Where'd you get these? Oh, I picked that parcel up in the garage. Ah, Swiss watches. Here, I say, there'd be a duty on these. Supposing they were smuggled uh, as well. What, you mean the hearse isn't a ghost after all? I'll tell you something now, else. Don't you start. Here, I'm going to find out where that hearse has gone. There's far too much disappearing around here. First the keg, then the hearse. If only wants him to disappear, we'd all be happy. Yes, but I wonder... Ah, oh, shut up. Oh, I didn't want to hear about the lighthouse, did you? Well, I'll keep my secret to myself. <laughs> well, I don't suppose we've missed anything. It's about the hearse. The legend says it has something to do with smuggling. Hey? What's that? Tells you how it was done and where they came from. Well, what is the legend? It won't tell you. Oh, come on, cop it up. <coughs> it's in rhyme. All right. When the tide runs low in the Devil's Cove, and the headless horseman is seen above, he drives along with his wild aloe, lickety-spit, lickety-spit. Lickety-spit, lickety-spit. Oh, yeah, I'll put that bit in because I forgot the last line. Well, try and remember it, very likely it contains the clue to the whole thing. Oh, it's no good. That's why I put the spit in. Here, oh. yeah. would it be as he drives along with the wild aloe and into the garage the whole lot go? Yeah. Into the garage. Oh. You might as well say they go in the garage because they couldn't stop flibbity-flop, flibbity-flop. No, that's not it. Yeah. Hey, listen, listen, anybody knows this last line? Yes, there's one man. Who? My father. Who? My father. Your father? Yeah. Hey, he's not the fellow that drives the hearse, is he? No. Well, what good would your father be to us anyway? Well, we can get in communication with him. What do you mean, by rapping on a table? No, rapping on his door. Yeah. You don't mean to tell me you've got a father living? Yes. 
Well, what do they hold the old fellow together with? Wire? Well, where is this ancient good? Up along Turn Bottom West. Oh, I'll take it there. Uh, come on, we're going to meet Adam. I'm Sergeant Dudford of the local police. Oh, copper, eh? Well, what's the young rascal been up to this time? Breaking windows again? Breaking windows? <laughs> what, at his age? Takes him all his time to break the bread to put in his milk. Well, what do you want to wake me up at this time of the night for? Hey? Well, it's like this, Dad. No, you <laughs> shut up. I'll tell him. You see, it's like this, Dad. We want your advice. Yes, we want to know the last line of an old rhyme. Oh, I know lots of old rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll bet you do. But it's not one of those. Now, listen. When the tide runs low in the smuggler's cove, and the headless horseman seen above, as he drives along with a wild hello, uh, something, 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 oh. Now, do you remember it? Yes, I remember it. Uh, when the tide runs low in the smuggler's cove, and the headless horseman is seen above, he drives along with his wild hello. Uh... Yes? What's the last line? Why, you silly old, uh, <coughs> you old gentleman, that's what we come to you for. Oh, come on, Daddy, try and think. No, 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 don't tell me, don't tell me, I've got it on the tip of my tongue. Well, all right, stick your tongue out, let's have a look at it. Uh, something, 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 oh, he drives along with his wild hello. Yeah, yeah, we've had all that. What we want is the something, 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 oh. Oh. Uh, oh, look, listen, take your mind back. Forget all about what happened lately. Don't worry about balaclava. As he drives along with a wild hello. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Now, as the tide runs low in the smuggler's cove, and the headless horseman is seen above, he drives along with his wild hello. That's the time when the smugglers go out in their little boats to the schooner and bring back the kegs of brandy and rum and put them in the devil's cave below. See? See what? That's the last line. It doesn't even rhyme. Oh, yes, it does. Now, listen. As he drives along with his wild hello, that's the time when the smugglers go out in their little boats to the schooner and bring back the kegs of brandy and rum and put them in the devil's cave below. See? Yes. Is that the line you couldn't remember? That's right. Oh, I mean, I'm not surprised. Yes, it's made me feel quite hoarse. I think I'll have a go. Have one? Yes, made me hoarse listening to you. Mm. I'll have a black currant. <laughs> Well, what's the matter? They're very nice. Don't you like them? No! I always put them back. Yeah. Devil's cave below? Below what? Below the cliff. Cave below the cliff? I've never seen the cave. Ah, that high water it's covered up. You never look when the tide's out. I've been there hundreds of times. Oh, what for? Smuggling. So, what? <laughs> well, you come of a nice family, don't you? Well, come on, the tide's low now. If we hurry, it might catch the smugglers red-handed. Oh, no, you won't. They'd never find the channel. Oh, why not? Because the light they used to steer by doesn't hang there anymore. <laughs> oh, that's what you think. <laughs> okay, well, kiss your daddy goodnight and we'll go. Here, don't go away. Stop and have a cup of tea. Ma? 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 Hey, you don't want to tell me you've got a mother? Has he? No, oh, that's his wife. He married again at 96. Oh, I see. Calf love, eh? Yes, well, uh, <coughs> go on. We haven't any time for tea. Ain't you going to see the old lady? <laughs> not likely. I'll stand for Adam, but I'm blown if I'll stand for Eve. Good night, Daddy. Come on. Hurry up. Get them in. The tide will be in in half an hour. Well, here's the cove, but uh, where's the cave? Oh, there it is. Oh. Look. Ah, well, I wonder why we've never seen this place before. Well, it's time I've been this far. Well, that's a nice admission to make. This is part of your beat. Oops. Uh, 
Go on, get your boots off. Oh, go paddling in November. <laughs> Not me. Hey, do you realise this is your superior officer talking? Yeah, talking a lot of bilge. Well, listen, you can go in with your boots on or your boots off, but you're going in anyway. Heartless, that's what you are. We'll get that different goal. It's full of it. That's what he did. It's full of it. Hey, look here. Look here. Hey, what's this? It's rum. Here's two. Got me some more over there. Oh, we're on the right track. Yes, well, get it out of the water and put it up there. That's another little bit of evidence for it. Hey, I thought you said there was no lighthouse about here. That's not a lighthouse. It's an avenue cutter. Are you sure they're policemen? Well, they've got police uniforms on and they're running a cargo all right. If that isn't a keg of liquor they're carrying, I'll eat my hat. Wait a minute, give me those glasses. Well, what do they want? Probably looking for the smugglers. Oh, are they? Interfering, I see. Well, there are smugglers, and we're going to get them first. Go on, follow me. Hey, do you realize that police station's on the highest point around here? I'll bet that's where that light was. Tell Jones the radio door, Mr. Police, immediately. Right. Johnson! Uh, Lower the starboard boat. Uh, I say, uh, don't you think we'd better turn back now? It's getting a bit deep here, you know. Deep? What do you mean, deep? Your feet are still touching the bottom, aren't they? Yeah, it's all right for you. You're taller than me. Well, hang on to our space and stop moaning. You better keep your chins up here. It dips a bit. Oh, it's cold. Well, our bottle stopped moaning. How is he? Oh, he's all right. He's hanging on to my waist. Oh, good. That's it. Hey, he's underwater. Get him up out of that. Hey, what are you doing down there, you chump? Oh, oh I swallowed that. Oh, I'd get him water. Oh, oh, it's a pity he didn't swallow some more. You'd have made it shallower. Well, climb on his shoulders. Go on. Shoulder? Yes, that's right. Don't push me under. Up you go. Now, you carry... What's the matter? What's the matter? Shrimp. Shrimp? Oh. Well, you carry this lamp. That'll, that'll give you something to do. All right. All right, then. Oh, now, follow me. Oh. It's patrol boat D6, sir, reporting smuggling in Devil's Cave. Well, why don't they get in touch with the local police station? Sounds incredible, sir. They think the local police are working in with the smugglers. What? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Where is Devil's Cave? Below turn bottom round, sir. Turn bottom round? Why, that... Oh, I might have known. Call out the squad car. Yes, sir. Tell me to have some men down there right away. Oh, oh. oh come on, hurry up. How can I hurry up with the old man of the sea on me back? Here, here, let's go out. Well, there's a swim for it. Now you won't have to swim for it. It won't get any deeper than this. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Here you are. Don't you have to swim? I didn't swim, I sunk. Oh, look, the landing stage. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, they've been doing a bit of landing there, too, haven't they? Yeah. Oh, look, there's a tunnel here. Yeah. Now we shall find out where they are. Yeah. Well, there's another tunnel there. They might have gone either way. Yeah. Ah, ah. I wonder what's in all these. Oh, brandy. Rum. Gin. Oh, look. Here's a lot more. Perhaps somebody's going to open the pub down here. And who are they going to sell the stuff to? Mermaids? Well, look, there's a tunnel here, and there's a tunnel there. We'd better toss up see which one we'll take. Uh, heads we go this way. And tails we go out. Yeah, we don't go home till we've found the smugglers. Come on, give me a penny. I haven't got one. Penny, half of them. Give me money box. Yeah. Well, we can't toss up for it. Hey. Cigarette end. Still burning, too. Ooh, turkeys. Hey, hey, don't smoke it. That's a clue. Well, this proves they've gone this way, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, come on up. All right, all right. Push, 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 push. Come on, put some beef in it. Oh. Oh. Well, we're getting somewhere anyway. Oh, I thought those stats would never end. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, I see. Oh. Hey, look, look at all these barrels here. Oh, yeah, it looks as if we struck a beer mine. Yeah. Have you ever heard of a beer mine? Oh, I don't know. You say mine's a beer. Yeah, yours will be a thick ear if you don't shut up. Yeah, yeah with a box of candles. Well, that's a funny thing to smuggle. There's no duty on candles. Oh, perhaps they come from abroad. They may be Roman candles. Well, I wonder what's in that crate. Oh, who's soap? Soap? How do you know? Why, because mine comes in a case like this. Tis soap. I have a very like the soap's only camouflage. No, it isn't. It's Castile. Yeah. Oh, look at the label on the side. It's so a light. Hey, it's got your name on it. Has it? Yes. Now, what's he doing down here? Oh, that's what I'd like to know. So would I. What's what? Oh, look. Here. This is the box I keep my tapioca in. Somebody must have raided our cellar. Yeah, it looks like it. What? Raided our cellar. 
Oh, well, can't you see where we are? Huh? We're in our cellar. Hey? Oh, 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 so we are. Oh, there's yeah. impudence. All right, that's storing the stuff in our own cellar. Yeah. Well, but they're not going to get away with that, I'll show them. No, they can't. I tell you. What? We we'll lash it up, fill the stuff, and teach him a lesson. Huh? What? Get ten years? Oh, no fear. We're going to phone the chief constable. See what evidence we got. We've got all that stuff in the cellar, mm -hmm. these three watches. And the Turkish bag end. Uh, oh, the Turkish bag end, yes, yes. I forgot that. Yes, uh, that's well. Not many people around here smoke that kind of cigarette. This ought to be easy to trace. Yeah. Cigarette? Oh, the squire. Huh? Oh, you gave me quite a shock. <coughs> oh, I say, that's funny. You smoke the same kind of cigarettes as our clue does. So it seems. Yes. Well, that's very lucky. You may be able to help us. You think I might? Yes. I say, this. Um, this is going to come as a shock to you, but uh, there's smuggling going on around here. I know. What, you mean you know who it is? Yes, it's me. You? <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. And I'd advise you once again to keep your nose out of it. It'll be healthier for you. Healthier? Oh. Well, you, you, you mean that all this is... Uh, oh, dear. What an itch. <laughs> Hello, yes? That's the Chief Constable. I wouldn't answer if I were you. But don't forget that the contraband is stored in your own cellar and that the light was hung on top of your own police station. Oh. I see his point. Yes, well, I don't. It's against the law and I put my hands to the plow and... And what? Oh, well, I'll take them off again. Here, that's our evidence. Shut up. Hello. Help them. Chief, the lorry's waiting in the five oak coffees. Right, then go and tell them we start loading at once. Unless you swing it too. Oh, go on, go on, go on. Go on. That's it. Well, she won't start unless you choke her. Huh? How can we choke her when we're all here? Well, how about we can? All right, I will.
ไม่หวังแล้วนี่นี่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่See right into the cellar here, sir, and it's packed with contraband. Find out if Dud puts on the premises. Yes, sir. Let's have a look at this. Yes, sir. Hey, pull up, pull up, pull up. There they are. Cool, look. Well, this looks like the last trip, sir. There's your headless horseman for you. Shall we fill in the hole, sir? No, don't bother. Tip the hearse from the quarry and scatter. I'll get in touch with you boys later from London. The missing car is a black Morris, number FN8429. There are three wantsmen in it. Right. Goodbye. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, sir. Well, how are we going to get after him? We have any petrol. All right, keep your shirt on. We've got another can in the bank. Well, hop out and get it. Go on. Come on. Come on. Oh, wait a minute. What's that noise? It's the radio. I turned it on. May as well have a bit of music. Yeah. Music? I mean, I think we've got enough in our minds without having to listen to that rubbish. Right? Oh, steady on. Now you made me spill it. Well, why don't you use a funnel? I haven't got a funnel. Well, use a bit of imagination. Here. Here. Hey, I'll right, use that. That's Whew. right. That's it. Calling all police patrols. Who said that? Hey, that's a police message. Keep watch for and stop. Black Morris Tourer, number FN 8429. Believe travelling towards London. Oh, London Road. That's this road. Yeah. Hey, if we keep our eyes open, we might catch them as well, eh? Yes. 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 I will repeat that. Car number FN 8429. You get that number? Got it. <laughs> We've had it all the time. Hey. Look. Yeah. Oh. Well, I wonder what they want us for. Probably they've heard about old Joe's grandmother. It, the car is driven by three wanted police. Wait, please. Their arrest is essential. Oh, dear. I will repeat that. Oh, don't bother. We heard you the first time. Exciting, isn't it? Hey, get out of the way. <laughs> hey, we can't use this car because they know it, you see. So we shine down the side road, then get a lift from somebody. Go on. Yeah. What's the right? Go on, off you go. Go on. I'll steer it. Go on. Shut up. Hey, look. But are they coming? Well, let's stop it. Give me my helmet. Come on, quick. Uh, what have you got in that tin? Only milk, sir. Yeah. Milk? Oh, this time in the morning? I will deliver it this time, sir. Oh, well, it looks highly suspicious to me. And to me. Me too. Hey, uh, where's your milk book? My what, sir? Your milk book. You know, the book you put your milk in. I haven't got one, sir. Yeah. Oh, he hasn't got a milk book. Well, here, you can't go around the country milking without a milk book. You go and get one immediately. Yes, sir. Oh, no, no, leave your bicycle where it is. We'll look after that. Go well, on, off you go and run all the way. Get him at this speed! Take your beard out of 
了没有？
matter? Somebody behind us? Someone behind us? We've got to pull out. Yeah. Hey, where did all those people come from? They must have got on when we stopped. Well, now they're on, they can stay on. kind of a shop window. Well, this is the fellow that came and backed us up and said it was an accident. So you admitted to him, Blackguard? Yes, but uh, look what we've done since. Caught the smugglers and everything. Arrest the lot of them. Hey, wait a minute. Will you tell me to get after all? You, you, you gonna... Well, hold. Yes. Oh. 